How's it going, everyone? Today, I'm going to be reviewing a training aid that I built a couple years ago. And I've been making these um, since I was a teenager. I used to uh, I used to punch or use it as a punching aid and kicking aid, something to be able to put my fist or my elbow or my foot wherever I want to put it. It's a striking tool. It moves around, you know. It's a tennis ball suspended from 550 paracord. I have it hanging from ceiling fan right now. Take it off of here for a second so you can have a look. It's really simple. Bore a hole through a tennis ball. Take your 550 paracord. Push it through the tennis ball. Tie it off. On the other side, tie the paracord uh, to itself in a loop fashion in such a way that this loop can be adjusted with a sliding knot. That way you can change the height when it's hanging. Concentrate on whatever targeting zone you'd like to. So I'm going to hang this back on my ceiling fan. I'll show you how we use this. It's important to have solo training tools or devices because we don't always have a uh, training partner available. Most of the time, we don't have people available 24-7 on our beck and call hey, let's get together, you know, let's spar, or let's go head to the dojo and uh, practice some. I mean, not all of us have that because of where we live, uh, because of people that don't have a similar interests that live in the same vicinity, whatever the case. So there's different things you can do. Um, you can, there's several different uh, instructors out there that have um, instructional aids on how to build knife training devices. This is something I came up with. Uh, because it's small, so it presents a small target area, and it moves around, so we don't have a, a something static that we're swinging at. forces us to concentrate. Now, you're going to see me miss this, and uh, I encourage you to do this. Build one of these and try it out, because it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, it's certainly challenging. Um, it could be also be taxing and part of your overall workout if you do it for any length of time. So... I'm going to be using uh, what's representative of the average size EDC folder or fixed blade that's carried by your average knife bearing individual with a, uh, a three inch blade that's made out of hard plastic, rounded off, no sharp edges anywhere. It's made by Sharky. Okay. So what you want to do with this thing, you don't want to be uh, moving so fast that uh, you can't concentrate, you know. Get a couple hits in every now and then. You want to work up to something that makes sense for you. All right. Start off with basic angles. You know. If it comes at you and you miss it, get a flinch response going on. Get the idea of having your live hand in play. Move around it. Cut it while you're moving. Punch it. Elbow it. Stabbing becomes a little bit more challenging. That's to be expected. Just trying to put your point right into this small tennis ball. Kick it if you like. Try to reverse grip. Back to forward grip. So that's it. Now basically, uh, that's it. You do this any length of time, it becomes taxing. You'll feel uh, some kind of a cardiovascular effect. So it's good for your workout or as an addendum to your workout as well as increasing your accuracy overall over a period of time. So that's it. That's my training tip. That's my little training device. Hope you all enjoyed it. Get some use out of it. Build one of these. Try it out. You might like it. Thanks for watching.